All right, we have installed XFCE on our Arch Linux system. Control T does not work. There's a terminal icon under here. It's uh, XFCE probably. Voila, XFCE terminal. And fonts have not been installed. Uh, as you can see, it's still quite ugly. It's even QWERTY for me, so I need to fix that as well. We've done already something about the display. The display is in here in settings. The display, set your settings here. Or log out, log in. If there's a problem with uh, resolutions, then you just log out, log in, and it's fixed. Now, <clears throat> how do we proceed? Well, first for me, I need to go to figure out my keyboard here. So keyboard, layout, and I have to add a Belgian one. So Belgian one, okay, English, well this one up, and English is out, just to be safe. So when I restart, there I have Azerti. Now the fonts are quite ugly, but I need to uh, go on because I have a script on the GitHub which fixes my fonts. But when, first we need to get to the GitHub. So if we want to type git, then we see we do not have it installed. So sudo pacman minus s git. And we install git. And then we can start cloning things, getting it from the internet. So https double point slash slash github.com Arco Linux with a D and then Arco, and then whatever desktop you want. In this case, I want XFCE. We go inside Arco XFCE, and here are all the scripts. Now let's fix the fonts, fir fonts first. Oh, Control C, numeric lock should be on. So that's not working. Okay. So 700 and a lot of fonts are going to be installed and a lot of more packages are being installed. We have to quit the terminal, open the terminal and you'll see that this is better for you to read. Obviously. Just showing that Multilib is already activated, so in the pacman.conf we've changed already something so that it's a little bit um, we can install steam we can install wine and stuff like that that's coming all from there i want to change my appearance a little bit don't want that it's always too small I more like it like this and close so next time it's gonna be a little bit bigger like so so ls we go into the folder we downloaded and here we have all the scripts now <clears throat> it's uh, all about deciding what to run and what not um, it seems I still have my keyboard to figure out why the numlock lock is not working question is do we have numlock x we do not so sudo pack man let's see if that fixes the thing oops what am i doing numlocks oops not on that's later first install it then tell it to be on numlocks On, please. All right. So numlock is fixed. So we were talking about uh, this one. So you decide what elements you want to install on your vanilla Arch Linux. Uh, you can say whatever. I'm not gonna take a look at any of the scripts from Arch Linux. Or you say I'm gonna get a part. Or you're gonna say I get everything. It's all up to you. So it's um, decision time. So first of all, this thing here, the three zeros, is going to make use of all the cores. If you have eight cores, you're going to use eight. In this case, it's a virtual box, so I gave four to the virtual box. 
sorry, M4 to my engine, my, my system. So, okay, done. And then it's up to you to decide if you want sound, if you want Bluetooth, printer, Samba, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, um, what's specific for the Arch installation is that we have a new folder. So, if you do an LS, there is a folder called Archway. And in there, CD Archway LS. So, we have four scripts in there. And the most important one is to trust the key from Eric Dubois, which is going to be loaded now. And the second thing is then to add Arco Linux. So this is if you want to import stuff from Arco Linux to your vanilla Arch Linux. The question I've been asked a lot lately. So that's that. If we do now sudo pacman minus s I guess this one will do as well then you see that we have two lines Arco Linux repo and Arco Linux repo signing okay so that means that I can install Ar Arco Linux stuff all these elements are ready it's there it's uh, it will do stuff for instance Arco Linux dash i3 WM is the configuration on Y3. So basically you won't need it. So it's up to you to decide what to install or what not to install. All you have to do is open up the file with a editor. If we have already an editor, we have mousepad. So we can read already what's in here and we can see if we want it or not. We can say to, for instance, number 200, we don't want catfish, then I suggest you do this. Put a hashtag in front, and later when we update the scripts on the GitHub, you do a melt between your files and folders and scripts and ours, and then you'll see that this line is just has hashtagged out, and that's easy for you to compare. Just a tip. You do whatever you want. So installing Pac-Man and not Genie and Melt and so on and so on. It's up to you to decide what you will run and what not. I will not save it. And um, basically, um, that's how we spice up our Arch Linux with Arco stuff. You decide what to run. There is a thing happening here with 800. So let's see where are we. So CD up ls 800 is going to have an error group auto login does not exist so we say sudo group at auto login and then we have uh, to run it again this time the group does exist and eric is going to be added to the group so next time around i uh, will not need to uh, type in my password on my name but just will be moving on and booting in not sticking with the light am I see already also that there is a 710 if we are going to install the conkeys from Arco Linux then you need the fonts as well so 710 is for the conkeys the fonts for the conkeys from Arco Linux this is if you see a micro code error when you boot up, then you run that one. And um, well, I'm gonna install now everything uh, that we see here, mostly what I see here, and then I'll come back to you in another tutorial.